for the first time being divorced, we're going to say, welcome to Tic Tac Go. Let's have some fun, y'all. Here we go. I'm not ashamed to say it. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to season six, episode fifty-nine of the game of strategy. Now it's in fun. It is Tic Tac Doe. Glad to have you with us. We're gonna have an awesome time. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> All right, so yesterday Andrew won a big game, right? There yesterday he won the jackpot and a brand new car. His total is $196,925 is Andrew Hawking. <laughs> well, Andrew, are you ready? Good to be back for, for game number six. Well, you think you're going to do it? Uh, let's, let's, hope, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Good luck to you. And playing against Andrew is Yoshi Rivers. How you doing, Yoshi? How you feeling? Yoshi! Are you there, Yoshi? If he's not there, if he's not there, somebody can take over who hasn't played yet. I'm still here. Oh, there you are, oh. Yoshi. Well, Yoshi, are you ready to play? Thanks, sir. Good luck, Andrew. All right, good luck to both y'all. Y'all know how to play tic-tac-toe, so let's get this going. The categories are in the first game are we have the Book of Exodus, Opponent's Choice, Fairy Tales, General Knowledge, Mixed U.S. States, Double or Nothing, Arts and Literature, Bonus category is always a three-part question. Answer that three-part question correctly, you'll get another turn immediately. And we have sports and games. Andrew, you're trying to win your sixth game. Which category would you like to start? Let's go to the next year. Let's stay to this A good category. Now, you'll have uh, extra time on this one. I'm going to type you two mixed-up states. You have to tell me what both of the states are, okay? Here we go. All right. Here we go. First off. That's the first one. The second one. All right, take the time to think about it, and I'll come with your answer, okay? All right. All right, Andrew, what are those mixed U.S. states? All right, I'm going to go with the second one. Go ahead. It is Vermont. Yes, what's the first one? Arkansas. Nicely done. We put $3,000 in the pot. Good job. $3,000 is in the pot. And let's shuffle it. Yoshi. I'll be back in a sec, guys. If All right. Somebody take over. For somebody play for Yoshi. Who, wants to, who do you want to pick to take Yoshi's place, Andrew? Between uh, Eric... Well, Justin played. It's either Eric or um, Brandon. Uh, Eric. All right, Eric Lima, you're in. All right, Eric. Um, which category you want? Oh. Yeah, is Eric there? Brandon uh, Martin, do you want to play? I'm down to do it. 
All right, Brandon, you're playing then. Yeah, we got to keep this game moving. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Yoshi's back. Oh, Yoshi is back? Okay. Back. All right, Yoshi, go ahead. Select your category. Let's try sports and games in the bottom center. Going sports and games. Your question on sports and games. Here it is. The, the Boston Red Sox compete in what professional sport? Is it A, basketball, B, American football, C, baseball, or D, ice hockey? E, baseball. That is the right answer. That was easy. Good job. $5,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. Andrew. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's try double, double or nothing. Going double or nothing. Okay. You know the risk with that? Here's your question on the double or nothing. Here it is. What is, what is the name of the court joining a mother and her unborn child? Again, what is the name of the court joining a mother and her unborn, and her unborn child? Is it paternity court? Say that again. Is it paternity court? Uh... We need a ruling on that, somebody. I'll look. I'll look it up. You said paternity cord. Yes. Hold on one second. Is paternity cord the same as umbilical cord? Here's what I found on the web for his paternity cord the same as umbilical cord. Let me see. Hold on. Get an answer once and for all. He said paternity cord. There's a such thing as a paternity test, but no. Oh. No. It's, a, it's, it's called an umbilical cord. An umbilical cord. Oh. Not the same thing. It's a, um, there's a paternity test, but no. You don't call it a paternity cord. It's an umbilical cord. So no box. No. Five, 5,000 is in the pot. We shuffle. All right, um, um, Yoshi. Think what sports and games go bottom right. All right, second time in the category, your question on sports and games. Francois Pinar captain which rugby union team to victory in the 1995 World Cup? Again, Francois Pinar captain which rugby union team to victory in in the 1995 World Cup? Is it A, South Africa, B, Australia, C, England, or D, New Zealand? I'm gonna take a guess and say it's Australia. Australia is wrong, I'm sorry. Australia is wrong. Uh-oh, that's the wrong answer. Oops. <laughs> the answer is South Africa. South Africa. So, you know what, guys? I know what we're going to do to resolve it. <laughs> this was not the first time that happened. We're going to get that blue on air. Yeah, the red categories may change, though. Blue, yeah, accidents happen. Accidents happen. The categories change. We have opponent's choice, jumping category, and ten thousand dollar question. That was the right answer. We shuffle. Well, opponent's choice is okay. We can use that, and that's the right answer. Five thousand dollars. We shuffle. 
And it's Andrew's turn. Alright, go ahead, Andrew. Let's go to uh, Mixed U.S. States. Go with Mixed U.S. States. Okay, your question, and here is your Mixed U.S. State here. Did I give you the right answer, um, Yoshi? The answer was South Africa. I know you did not. Yeah, the answer was South Africa. South Africa. All right, so, so here it is. Here's the mix of U.S. state. Go ahead. It's Alabama. Right you are, Andrew. Good job. Here it is. All right, we have seven thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. Go ahead, Yoshi. Uh, fairy tales for the block. Fairy tales for the block. Your question on the fairy tales. In the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, how did the evil witch poison Snow White? Is it A, with an apple, B, with a donut, C, with a sandwich, or D, with a cake? A, with an apple. That's the right answer. Good job. We have $9,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, uh, Andrew. Let's go to general knowledge for the block. General knowledge for the block. Your question on general knowledge could be about anything. Here it is. What is the second smallest as well as the most densely populated country in the world? Again, what is the second smallest as well as the most densely populated country in the world? Is it A, Monaco, B, Nauru, C, San Marino, or D, Vatican? I'm going to say the Vatican. The Vatican is wrong. That's the smallest. The answer is Monaco. Monaco. Oh. Wrong answer. We still have $9,000 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Yoshi. Let's do opponent's choice for the win, Rodney. Opponent's choice for the win. So you get this question right on opponent's choice. It will be tic-tac-toe. $11,000 and you'll be the new champion. Andrew, uh, you can choose a subject for Yoshi, okay? Try to stump them. Right. Do you want them to answer a question on geography or entertainment? Uh, uh, that's geography. Going with geography. Here's your question. It's for Tic Tac Doe and $11,000, Yoshi. Which state is located between Maine and Vermont? Again, which state is located between Maine and Vermont? It is New Hampshire. You have Tic Tac Doe and you're the new champion. All right, Yoshi, you have won $11,000, and you're going to go ahead against that mean old dragon in a second. Well, Andrew, you have won five games. You're up. You have won $196,925, and thanks for playing, man. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. Well, um, Yoshi, you have $11,000. You ready to do the beat the dragon game? And bring on that dragon. Let's do the Beat the Dragon Gang! <laughs> All right, um, uh, Yoshi, now you know how the game goes. The object is for you to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket in the attack before seeing this dumbass. You match... You match... You managed to reach $10,000 or more or get the ticket and attack. Justin, what prizes is Yoshi in for? Here are the prizes. <laughs> we can tell us both sleep set. It's to the neon. Cameron. That ain't good dinner. My bro, cupboard. 3,667. Ooh. Thank you very much. Six, you wanted six, it to be 69, didn't you? Alright. Yeah. Now, oh. Uh, Yoshi, because Andrew caused that earthquake yesterday, if you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, we'll give you a $25,000 bonus. 
Doing your first two picks will double that bonus to $50,000. You have a shot at a new car. Yoshi, you ready to go? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Go ahead and start selecting. Go ahead and knock out both parts of my lucky number. Let's start at the top left with number one. Go on number one. Let's see what's in number one. It's a thousand dollars. Okay, stop or go. On and let's knock out the other part of my lucky number. Bottom right, number nine. Go on number nine on the corner. Let's see what's in number nine. There is a tag. Now find the tick. We give you a $25,000 bonus. You have a shot in a new car. I will play on. All right. And I think the tick is behind number six. If tick is behind number six, we give you a $25,000 bonus. Let's see what's behind number six. $2,500. You have $3,500. Stop or go. Which number? I'm on lucky number seven. Number seven. All he needs is a ticket. He'll have a $25,000 bonus. Let's see what's by number seven. $1,500. You have $5,000. Now you need a $5,000 or the tick to get the um to win. What do you want to do? On. He's going on which number? Two. You're going number two. $5,000 will win you the prize package. A tick will give you the prize package plus the $25,000 bonus. Let's see what's behind number two. No. That dragon got you. I'm sorry about that, Yoshi. Well, let's see where you should have gone. Tick was behind number eight. And there's the rest of the money amount. So that means that the Beat the Dragon Game jackpot is at $30,000 or $60,000. If it happens on the first two picks, we'll go and take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll do more Tic Tac Go. Stick with us, won't you? Thank you, guys. We're clear. 